I'm very fortunate that my hobby happens to be my business and vice versa. I, I, I thoroughly enjoy what I do. Probably the best way of describing my family or, or what we do is we, we are a family of artists and our cameras happens to be a fun fair. My name is Joe Picasso and I'm a showman and I'm also a traditional sign writer. The wonderful thing about what we do here is it's all about being creative. We're hidden away here, most people don't know where we are and what goes on in our yard. And there can be a pile of wood one week, the next week it's been built into a panel for the fair, the week after that it's been coach painted, and then it comes into me, and me and my team, namely me and Aaron, we decorate it and sometimes mum doing her scenic paintings, and we bring it to life. Growing up as a, a young boy, I had a great love and respect for the artwork that was created on the, on the fair. Some of the artwork we have on the fair is old original stuff. Most of it is stuff we've recreated in the style of, because we need the artwork to be fresh and vibrant. Um, old fairground art often is faded and it's been varnished to the extent where it goes so brown you can't you can't depict the colours as they were intended when they were first done. We like to do stuff as it came out in the factory. Um, but as a kid, I was fascinated with the colours and, and, and particularly with the sign writing, with the lettering. I was very fortunate that I was taught when I left school. I uh, went to do an apprenticeship with Stan Wilkinson. I'd sit there every day, mark out, and I'd sign right on glass. The reason it was done on glass was because it was easy to wipe off. You didn't have to paint a board every day. You'd get a razor and wipe it off and do it again. And it might take me two or three hours to do a bit of sign writing, sort of two and three inch lettering. And at the end of it, Stan, who was a very genteel, kind man, would criticise it, and I would wipe it off, and I'd do it again and I made some glaring mistakes, I made repeat mistakes, but the point was, in time I got better. Part of the decoration I do is lining, which often people think is boring, but if you do too much of it in one go, it can be quite tedious. But by and large, I really love it, and I love it because I'm good at it and I can do it very fast. If you take my swing bow legs, for example, they're 18 foot long and the legs are just shy of that. So the, the, the lining's about 15, 15 foot, the decoration. And there's two lines on each side and there's four sides. Do the maths, that's a lot of lines because there's 14 legs. There's the beams up the top, there's the stays that join the legs up and there's the boats. Although I'm proud to perceive myself as a Victorian in the 21st century, the truth is if I was a Victorian with my abilities now, for which I'm proud of what I can do, I'd actually be pretty run-of-the-mill. The, the skills we, we do now, which are so rare and people struggle to find, they were ten a penny back in the day. If you look at old photos, the sign writing was beautiful. Um, and there were so many sign writers, because there were so many signs that needed to be written. I mean, if you look at all the transport on the road, and every shop you go in with a plastic sign above it, well, that shop once upon a day predecessors, that was the hand done. But I suppose it's like anything, if you specialise and you truly specialise and you don't get tempted by the vinyl letters and get tempted by the tape and you're a real purist like I am, if people want a job done and they want it specialists, then they've got to come to people like myself. So it's a nice position to be in.